Hey guys, welcome to this week's episode. So this week we are cracking on with more sanding. So Davey has been manufacturing a long board so that he can sand the side of the boat easier. We've got a fairing board now which makes the work a lot easier. I also do want to do a massive shout out. Thank you so much to all of our patrons who've been with us and thank you to our new patrons who jumped on board. So thank you so much guys, we really truly appreciate it. Hi, I'm Erica, and this is my fiancé, Dave. We are living aboard our new to us Hurricane Damage Catamaran, Barefoot 2.0. We met in Fiji three years ago and have experienced so many beautiful places together. For the past two years, we've made the ocean our home, starting on our Catalina 36 in the States and the Northern Caribbean. We hope to one day circumnavigate the globe, but for now we are fixing our boat one step at a time. Subscribe to our channel to follow our journey. When faced with a challenge, look for a way, not a way out. So starting off this week, uh, Davey's really keen to get this section of the sugar scoop looking nice. So what are you doing, babe? I'm practicing. <laughs> I haven't got any fairing filler yet, but... Sounds kind of rough. That's because I haven't sanded this area yet. <laughs> What's this? Christmas! It's Christmas! <laughs> so it's called a flexi, flexi sander. Flexi sander, and this is the version for doing fairing filler. So to put when you put the fairing, so for example, this area here, once you, you slap your feeler on it, fairing filler, obviously it's all been built up structurally, and this is just to get it ready for paint. And then what I can do is put this across the top, it follows the shape of the hull, scrape down, like so and it will leave it then you let it dry and then just a very light sanding and it'll be the same shape as the hull because it conforms to the shape of the hull like so <laughs> someone's happy toys not just toys tools good tools happy days happy davy happy davy <laughs> okay guys want to give a little bit of a shout out to uh, one of our followers richard who has sent us this fantastic fairing board from Flexi Sander. Um, I used it yesterday uh, on this section here, which was a bit lumpy. So I mixed up some, uh, some fairing filler and uh, skimmed it down and it goes on so much more even. Um, but to do some sanding on it, I'm going to need to use something called a long board. Now, um, Richard also did send us the, uh, the sandpaper with the, uh, the, the Velcro back, uh, a few different rolls. Uh, different grades of it. Um, so what I'm gonna do is today I've actually, well, what I'm gonna do, what I've already done, is I've made up this little fairing board here. I don't know how well you can see it. Um, basically all it is is a piece of quarter inch uh, MDF, waterproof MDF, and I've made a couple of handles, countersunk the screws in there, um, and this here. So what I'm gonna do next door, little sister has some Velcro. So I'm gonna first, I'm gonna coat this in epoxy, let that dry. And then afterwards, I'm going to put the Velcro on here, and then that will give me a, a long board to fare down when I can get around the curvature of the hull to get a nice, uh, a nice finish. So that's my little project this morning, is making the sandboard. Good morning, everybody. So this is a little video clip of, yeah, the morning after before. I was going to grab the camera and show you a bit while I was doing some fairing filler, but I had a little bit of a nightmare. I had a bit of an issue. So I started off, I started off with this section here and it was going on really, really nicely. Um, this is just some light fairing filler, basically. It's going to be a very, very thin skim just to take out any of the little imperfections, i.e. the little air bubbles and stuff. Um, and then I had pretty much the camera ready to press go on when I got to this section uh, and it looks like an absolute mess. So I'm kind of glad I didn't film it. But the reason it looks like a mess is due to the fact I used up the last of the West system that I had. Um, I mixed it up using some fairing filler, I think it's a 407. Um, and once I, when I mixed it up, I've, been, I've got so used to using the, uh, the new resin that we've managed to get here. So let's have a little look. I ended up wasting a big pot here. Um, got quite a bit on the boat, more than, more than half. 
but with the West system, it really, really, sorry, this camera, it really, really um, kicks off a lot quicker than, uh, than the other stuff that I've now got used to. So there's a massive difference. But anyway, we've got no more of that left. So I can't make that mistake again. Um, I, to be honest, I prefer working with this other one uh, purely for the fact that the working time you have is definitely extended. But once you've given it that extra little bit of cure time, it's just as good, just as hard afterwards. So anyway, got that little section done there. Got some up on here. And I did manage to get a run around the corner and smudge out a little bit more on some of these patches as well. So I can definitely uh, get using my... Uh, What's it called? The, the long board that I made yesterday. So that's what I want to film for you today is working a little bit with the long board. I did cheat a little bit yesterday afternoon because it was quite dry enough and I started to work on this area and it's coming out absolutely beautifully. So this long board is definitely going to be my best friend. This is, this is the way to do it, to try and get rid of my, uh, my flat spots or high spots or anything else. This is the way to get the curvature of the hole. So looking forward to playing with that today, but I'm sure I'm not going to after I've been using it for an hour or two, because obviously there's a lot of work involved in that. But anyway, that's going to be this morning's work. Let the condensation dry off, or the, what do you call it, the dew dry off of the boat. And uh, let's uh, have a go at this section here. And just a little bit of an update here on Little Sister. So Stephen's pretty much taken over. Oh, I can hear him. He must have woken up it's early on a Sunday morning, but I can hear his voice. So a little bit of an update. So Stephen's been working away and he's been working on the rudders, the rudder stock, all the little fiddly areas to get to. So poor old Stephen here was here yesterday all day basically with a dremel trying to get around all the little, the nuts, the bolts, the washers, the metal parts, all the parts we couldn't get to, plus also cleaning up a lot of the osmosis spots. Um, we were both quite surprised actually how bad the osmosis was on the um, on the skegs and the rudders themselves. But he's cleaned them up quite nicely. Don't tell him I said that because he's going to get a big head. Um, but anyway, they, they look like they're coming along quite well. Yeah, yeah. Oh dear, there's not much rudder left on that side. It was more osmosis than rudder. But don't worry, we can fix that. So we have a plan. It's all going to... I see he hasn't finished this side though. So I see what Stephen's job's going to be today. And that's finishing this rudder post. Was that a no, Stephen? That's a no. Do you want to say something to the camera? Yeah, rudder posts suck. <laughs> <laughs> why is that? Why, why do they? Because they've got all the fiddly bits that you can't get inside to get the old paint off. So you can put the new paint on. It's going to take days. Today's job for me is I'm going to keep going on the hull and the osmosis places. Because we have to rinse the hull today. And I don't want to rinse the hull until I've ground out all the osmosis in the actual hull itself. I personally don't reckon we're going to find every osmosis spot till pretty much the last day of drying. So I reckon every time we wash the hull, uh, we look at it again and we see 10 more, 20 more, 30 more spots. Um, so it's a case of washing it, inspecting it, grinding the little bits and pieces and just working with it. It's going to be a month long process to make this pretty again. Um, but I can see more here already and he's done this area just yesterday. You see here and here and here and here and here. I can see exactly where you went round it with the grinder. It's bleeding. Your boat's bleeding again. If it's the rudders, yeah. But if it's the hull, I didn't touch the hull yesterday. Oh, you didn't touch the hull yesterday. So you obviously missed that the day before. Oh, go ahead. <laughs> we're doing it together. We're doing it together. We're both doing this process. But uh, we're also trying to spend some time on our boat at the moment. And Stephen's doing as much as he can on his own. Because mainly at the moment, it's uh, he can do a little bit each day, uh, work on the small issues that we have, and let the drying process continue. Um, there was actually a spot I can show you guys that we... Uh, we had to make a call on his boat here because the osmosis was quite uh, quite bad around the through hole areas. Uh, I'm sure you can pick that up on the camera. Um, absolutely fine, we can repair it, but we've made the call that we're gonna have to take out these through holes to make sure it's properly, uh, properly reinforced there. Most of the other through holes actually look pretty good. So hopefully it's just those three that need to come out. And one of them was already seized anyway. So that was due a good service. Anyway, let's get on with today's work. And uh, yeah, hope you're having such a, a good fun day Sunday like we are here in the yard. Speak to you soon. Okay, so I know I said I was doing it with a long board, but I've noticed the thickness of this, because I was having the issues yesterday with this curing way too fast, and I just slapped it on because I didn't want to lose too much product. Um, so I've realized I need to go over it quickly with a, with a power tool. 
Then I'll do the long boarding afterwards if there's any still any dips or imperfections because obviously this is more likely to put on um, low spots or flat spots. Um, but let's give it a buzz over with this first and then I can just, it's going to be quicker and easier to repair than it is to stand and long board it because it's going to be repairs anyway I reckon. So yeah, let's uh, give this one a go. It's going to make my morning a lot easier. Okay guys, so before you all go crazy in the comments, just realize I don't have my mask on this morning. Uh, give me a break, don't rip me too much to pieces in the comments please, it is Sunday morning, but I'm putting it back on, okay? Okay guys, so done the sand and what I can do. This area was a lot rougher than I thought, so I've actually gone around it with the orbital sander, cleaned it off the best I can. Um, a little bit annoyed in myself at what happened really there. Um, get definitely going to be a lot more careful now with the, with the mixing ratios and well I should be good anyway. I know this new product. I know I haven't got the same problem. So yeah, got all these areas back. Also long boarded these off. You can see there's a little low spot there, one there, some bits. So I'm just going to go through with some just very very fine filler just so uh, maybe tomorrow with a long board we finish with these. This section here didn't get any filler yesterday because it cured before I could get there. Uh, Anyway, at the moment what we're doing is just preparing uh, Stephen's due for a, a wash down basically because we're supposed to do that every couple of days. So we're going to wash down his boat, um, also our boat's got a bit dusty up the top so we're going to rinse that off. So what I need to do first, put away all of these tools. If Stephen's using a hose pipe, he's not a very good aim with a hose pipe. I've seen him in the bathroom, he pees all over the seat. So <laughs> if he's that bad in the bathroom, I'm putting all my power tools away before I let him loose with the, with the pressure washer. Okay guys, give me a second and uh, let's go wash some boats. All right guys, so I've done super loads of sanding to try and sort out this area here, plus the other side and a couple of places under the boat. Um, been using the long board that I made, that's working well, plus using also the orbital sander, uh, but using it, you never stop, never stop, never stop, just keep going up and down so you don't get any flat spots. So it's been a bit of a, a workaround, but what I've decided to do, we've got a few cans of an epoxy based spray paint on board, so I'm going to cover this one with a little, just a fit, fine dusting of white paint. So when I go back over next time with the, the long board, it's going to show me if I've got any high spots or low spots um, that I can work with. So it's, it's not, it looks really, really good, but it's definitely not perfect. And of course, I'm only going to give Erica a perfect boat. So what do you reckon guys? That's what? One and a half cans of spray paint and it looks beautiful. I don't think we need to do any more than that. Erica, come and check out the sugar scoop. I don't know where she is. I think she's inside editing. Is it good enough? It looks pretty good. <laughs> it still needs some more sanding. I just put this epoxy based um, spray paint on just so I can fair it over and see where my low spots are but it looks it looks so nice it looks great look at that we never had a sugar scoop that looked that nice before is that good enough babe it's definitely not good enough I can't give my girl that type of boat um, it's gonna get better but anyway that was just a little step in the process so let that dry and we'll get that long board back out again <laughs> so Davey's downstairs laughing at me right now as I'm trying to film this <laughs> we hope you enjoyed this week's episode guys Cheers and thank you for watching. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button for us. Uh, thank you so much. See you next week.